Colorado is facing a homeless crisis. Camps are popping up all over the Front Range. Cities are struggling with ways to help transients while also keeping streets clean. And in Denver, that means relying on business owners. Dominic Garcia met one man who says the city is forcing him to clean up after the homeless. And Dom, he says that's not right. Karen, this man runs an internet company, he says his employees aren't trained to deal with human waste and needles, so he's going to fight the city. There's food, trash, drug deals. Jawade Bajjar has seen it all right in front of his business. In the alley, we get, you know, the, the defecation, the drug needles, prostitution. And this isn't new. We first met him last year dealing with this. Don't get out. No, we locked it up. No, we locked it. Since then, one of my employees was sitting in his car. Uh, they smashed in his window and tried to stab him. The most recent issue has him at odds with the city of Denver. Every day we're dealing with garbage, needles, feces. He's cleaned it up several times, so was an employee. But they've stopped. He says it's a health hazard. It's not something that we're equipped to deal with. It's not something we should have to deal with. He thinks the city should clean it up. If the city's not going to enforce laws against trespassing or camping or public defecation and just make me bear the cost, of these problems. That's just not right. But the city disagrees and has recently cited him. The city says if it's on his property, it's his responsibility. A city spokesperson says he can get additional tickets for each day it's not cleaned up. So what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to go to court and do my best to argue that the city's treatment of this is unfair and that to some degree this is a public crime issue and a public health issue and the city is the organization who's responsible for that. So the city says he can also hire someone to clean it up, but again, he doesn't think he should have to pay for that. He will be in court on December 18th. In Denver, Dominic Garcia covering Colorado First.